What's going on everybody? It's your boy Caesar, and we are doing an altcoin request video today. We're talking about 24 different altcoins at, at the request of you, the viewers. Um, anybody who's leaving a request, feel free to do so in the comment section on YouTube or join the Discord. I'll, I'll remember to leave a link in the description uh, for the Discord. Uh, you can leave it in the request section there. You guys, I'm going over 24 coins. I have about 5,600 subscribers. What do you think the odds are that several of you have requested more than just several of these coins? Like there, there are people who are doing requests on the same coins that have already been requested. You know, in, in a sense, like uh, Ada, for example, Cardano. At least six of you requested Cardano. I'm only going to give a shout out to one person. Okay, one person, and that's the first person who requests the crypto, the asset, the stock, the whatever. Um, you know, and, and I go specifically by Discord requests first and then YouTube requests, and I do it in chronological order. So if, if I'm not giving you a shout out, it's not that I don't love you, it's not that I, I, I'm ignoring you or I'm not giving you any attention, it's that you're not the first person to do the request so you don't get the shout out. And that, that's just how it is. It's, it's nothing personal, it's just to keep the flow of things. I've got 24 coins on here. If I included every single name of somebody who did a request, like the people who requested ADA, I would be saying more people's names than I would be coins. And that, to me, it's just, it's it's unnecessary, right? Most people come here because you want to watch the TA, you want to hear what coins it is I'm talking about. They don't want to hear your names. I know you want to hear your names. I want I want you to hear your names too, but guys, it's I'm just doing it kind of a, a first, cut, first come, first serve with the shout outs. Um, but anyways, it's also like that with the request. The order that I go through, it's not a matter of favoritism or anything like that. Uh, the, the order that I go through is literally the same thing. It's just first come, first serve, whoever requests it first, starting with the Discord and then moving on to the YouTube comments. Anyways, uh, let's get into the list. Let's get into the list. I'm talking way too much. Let's do it. Um, first and foremost, we're talking about Velo for the Unleavened Baptist, QNT and ADA for Dirty Beard. We're going to talk about Dogecoin for the crypto investor, RVN and XCH for MHAT, Filecoin and DGB for oil spill, GHST for Eric Silva, GMEE and VEMP for Ashugarg, AMP and PRQ for Real Load, MONG for Stan Wood Spartans, Trade for Steve Letterman, Dash for Patrick's, ASM and OGN for Mr. Liesel. AVAX for AKA West Cost, Algo for Mwametalijewski, Mwametalijewski, uh, HBAR for Sake Tauti, uh, or Sake Tauti, uh, YGG for Ma Muhammad Arafa, AERO for Jesus Juarez, and BNT for My Trade Wind or My Trade Wind. Uh, anyways, that's that's the list. That's the order we're going over it in. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and let's let's get into this. I'm going to pause the music now so it's not distracting throughout everything. Um, so looking at Velo here on the weekly, on the weekly, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, pretty pretty damn good. That's a nice week that you just closed. Decent volume. Looks like a breakout week in my opinion. You kind of had this consolidation phase right here, right? Consolidated around this area, and now you're breaking up. That's that's nice to see. Um, what would you do? Let's see. High to low here. Yeah, dude, you broke above your 618 with that too. You're probably making a move up to 2.7 cents to 5.7 cents over the coming weeks, coming months. So that's my thoughts. Up, up, up. And really, when you close above 1.18 cents or this closing high, which is at 1.38 cents. So between, I would say closing above 1.38, 1.38 would really be your last barrier. Um, when you close above that, it's on to 2.72 cents. You have you have 2.72 at your 1.272. Isn't that funny? It's kind of that's kind of perfect. Uh, between 2.72 cents to 5.72 cents um, or higher. But that's the area that you're going to go, and I, th I think that's what you're doing right now. I think you're fine. I think you look good. So what? You've had a little rejection off of this. You might, you could come back down to uh, 0 0.0077. You could even go a little bit lower, but you'll probably find support soon and then continue to move up. So um, on that note, actually, come on now. Don't you dare freeze on me. We're waiting. We're waiting. Maybe I'll just click the day again or the four hour. What happened? 
Am I going to have to refresh you? I'll refresh you if I have to. That's weird. That's never happened before. That's so weird. Trading view had a brain fart, man. So hold on. I just want to look at the four hour. Yeah, I think you look fine, man. I do think you want to go up higher. Dramatically lower, but you have higher lows here. I think you're fine. Yeah, no volume picking up as you're, it's decreasing as you're moving down. Um, yeah, inevitably you're going to make those moves up to 2.72 2, 2 cents to 5.72 cents. Anyways, that's Velo QNT USD on Coinbase here. Looking good on your four hour right where you are. Um, I don't like the RSI. You actually might go down more in the immediate term. Yeah, yeah, you might go down more in the immediate term. I take it back. That's okay. You're probably going to move, let's see, from low to high. Yeah, you probably move down to about 126, if not down to about 120, 118, 121, somewhere in that area. Um, down from here is what I think for QNT. Yeah. Uh, ADA, USD, Cardano. Also looks like it wants to go down from here. A little bit of a rejection. Oh, you know, though, maybe, maybe not. Let me see real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I think you want to go lower. It looks fine. You're probably just going to consolidate for a little bit. You're not going to go too, too much lower. You know, I, I doubt that you go, you know, any time spent below 60 cents is going to be a very short amount of time indeed. But I do think you're going lower from here. You might move back to about 59 cents for a brief, brief like wick or something like that. You might not even go below 60 cents, but um, probably a red day today or tomorrow. You know, whenever you've had that little last run down, you probably will recover. Good big strides for 90 cents to a dollar potentially. That would be my thoughts, yeah. Because I do think you've got more upside to see. It's just for the time being, you might be moving down. So that's ADA. Uh, let's talk about Doge, USD. Let's do it on Binance, actually. Doge here on the weekly. A bit of bearish divergence on the weekly, but it's not printed until you have a red week. It's there, but it's not confirmed until you have a red week. Uh, if you were to get this week, if this week were to close red, you'd essentially be looking for a move back down below 17 cents. Uh, for, for anybody that hasn't kept up with my analysis on Dogecoin recently, I've, I do think you could make a run up to 26 to 31 cents, even somewhere up around there. But I do think you'll pull back. You'll probably see prices below 11 cents and potentially even below 10 cents still uh, if you're patient. So, I mean... I would just wait on Dogecoin, man. Let it let it do its thing. Maybe it goes up here. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't be surprised if it makes a move up here. But inevitably, um, you probably do pull back to this area here, where you found resistance for a solid bit, um, and you even found support kind of on this on this like same area. I didn't draw a straight line, but you can see we found support right over right. That that's also not a straight line, but you can see what I'm trying to go for, right? It's just I'm I'm bad. Let's <laughs> let's do this. I'm determined. Let's do this. Right there, like literally in line with that, right? So um, probably come back down and find support there. If not, if not around 10 cents, then at least you would at least be like not guaranteed, but good for a move down to about 17 cents or lower. So you're at 21 and a half cents now. I wouldn't be surprised if you continued to move higher. Um, let's look at the daily. Again, unless you get a week that closes red. If you if this week closes red, that could initiate a, an immediate move down. Um, the daily RSI looks fine. I think so. Yeah, four hour. A little bit of a rejection. It's not necessarily ideal, but off the overbought zone here, this is the rejection I'm talking about. You're moving up with not a lot of volume. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do the USDT. Yeah, okay. Dogecoin might be moving down right now. Let's see. I mean, just just for the at least the uh the immediate term, the, the the next like day or so. But let's see how the week closes. If the week closes red, we might be moving down to 17 to 10 cents here starting this week. But that's that's Dogecoin. Let's let's check back on this thing at the end of the week. RVN Ravencoin on Binance here. Very nice pump. Good job, Ravencoin. 83% up, beautiful. Love to see it. Broke out of your accumulation range for sure. You probably consolidate now, right? 
you've probably seen your excitement. Um, you'll probably pull back to about 4.38 cents, consolidate around here, and then make your next move up to about 9 to 11.5 cents. How long are you going to consolidate for? It could be weeks, it could be months, it could just be days. Uh, you know, the weekly RSI looks bullish. Daily RSI looks pretty bullish. I like the four hour, I like all of it, but yeah, let's just see. I mean, let me get a, let me get another read on this here. Yeah, you probably do move down to about 4.1 to 4.4 cents, somewhere around there. Find support around this low, and then you continue to build. That would be my thoughts. So down for the time being and then up. Yeah. Ooh. You might, I don't know, man, who knows? You actually might move all the way down to like 3.85 3 cents. There is reason to believe that could happen too. Inevitably though, how, however low you go, you know, I don't think you're gonna form a lower low. I think it'll just be another higher low in a series of higher lows that sends you up to this 618 all the way up at about 9.2 cents, if not all the way up to about 11.5 cents, somewhere somewhere in that area. So you might pull back for now. I think it'll probably be a relatively short time of consolidation. It probably takes a week or two. Um, and then you'll just move up to that next that next phase. I mean, depending on how this week looks, I, I would I would expect this week to close red, essentially is what I'm trying to say. But then then inevitably you find support here at a previous resistance point, previous support point, your 382 on a macro scale. Um, it just makes sense to find support around 4.38 cents. Consolidate around there for maybe a week or two, at the most a month, and then you continue to move up. Um, and it could it could be longer than a month, but but the way I see it right now, I think I think you're just getting started. So I think uh, a shorter consolidation phase is probably appropriate. Um, X C H. I could be wrong though. Time time analysis is not my strong suit, man. I can predict price just when when will it get there is the is the hard question. Bitcoin will see ten bajillion dollars, but when is the question? Top to bottom. Broke above your 618. You found resistance here the first time. Came back down to your 382 for support. Classic. Love to see it. Broke above it. Found support on your 618 itself. And now you're having a positive reaction. Or you're, you're looking like you're having a positive reaction. I think you want to go higher. You're at $42 right now. You want to go to 65.85. You should have and you just didn't, but whatever. Uh, 65.85 with this kind of move, movement back, I doubt you stop here. You tried to reach for it and you, you came back down and found support at a cr uh, critical area. I would expect not only do you see 65.85, but you probably move all the way up to about $90, at least 75 bucks. But that's that's my kind of next target for this thing, if I, if I really had to guess. And you probably do that soon from the looks of it. Yeah, I like that daily, man. She's creeping. I like the four hour. Yeah, you probably do it soon. You're looking like you want to move up. So that's, that's uh, XCH. You guys, I can't talk today. I don't know what it is. I'm like st st stuttering uh, on a weekly here. On the weekly, Filecoin looking good, looking frisky. I like it, man. I think it wants to move up more, rather immediately too. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Mm. I like it. I like it. Yeah, Filecoin. You probably want to move up to about fourteen to sixteen and a half dollars. I'm betting on that sixteen and a half dollar area, if not even a little bit higher, but somewhere around there makes sense to me. One six one eight golden extension and also previous areas of support back here just lines up. So um, that that looks right in my opinion. Let's see. Hold on. Went up to your one six one eight the last time. Hey, look at that, beautiful. Pulled back to your eight eight six, dude. Yeah, you look great, dude. And then your your two two seven two is literally right there at sixteen and a half, where your current one six one eight is. Yeah, I I am very convinced sixteen and a half dollars, give or take a few cents, is where you're going. It's where you're gonna go. You're looking good, looking like you want to go there. So, over the days, over the weeks, you're probably gonna make your move up. The four hour looks really good um, on the RSI. The daily looks fine. It looks constructive. Um, I'd like to see it get into the overbought zone, not reject from it, but get into it. So just just keep moving up. That's Filecoin. DGB, Digibyte, man, this is a good one. I like Digibyte. It's definitely one of my uh, 
one of the, one of the coins that are on my hit list. I don't own any myself, but uh, it's actually it's it's caught my interest genuinely. Um, yeah, beautiful move up back in February here. You, you guys know I've been bullish on Digibyte since before here, but you've had your move. You've already moved up. I mean, overall 147, but you're up 133%. Love to see it. Overbought on your weekly, looking good. Fresh breakout move, decent volume coming in. Let's get this recent high to low here. Yeah, beautiful. 1272 rejected, 886 support. You're moving up, you guys. You're going to go at least to about 2 cents, if not 2.3 cents. That's your next target. And you probably don't be surprised if you find resistance here, but I'm thinking you'll see that 1618 as well. I'm thinking you will. And you could you could see deep extensions. I mean, your 2272 all the way up here is near these resistance points. It's right at these support points here as well. So you could be inevitably making a move that's at four cents or higher. But for the time being, let's stay focused on about 1.94 cents to about 2.3 cents, somewhere around there. The 1414, the 1618, somewhere in this area is where I think you're going to go. So uh, looking good, looking good, DGB. Um, GHST. Let's see. Oh my God, XCH. I want to go back to that real quick. Hold on, because is this the one? Okay, I was trying to keep track because right now XCH for M Hat and uh, DGB, those are looking like the ones that want to want to move up the most. DGB for uh, oil spill. You know, those those could be the winners. They really could be the winners for tonight. Um, let's see. Hanging out in the overbought zone. Love to see it. Decent volume up here. You probably want to continue to go, man. That's crazy, but you probably... I don't know anything about this thing, man. It's it's new. It's relatively new. Let's see. Going cracking. Okay, there we go. Been around since 2021 at least. Let's go to crypto. A little bit longer than that. 2020. There you go. Maybe even longer than that, but let's see. Relative high to low. Closed above your 618. That's a bold move you're making right now, guys. Tipped your 786. You know, generally speaking, across the board with crypto, whenever I see this kind of rejection, you do go back below your uh, 618, your golden ratio. So don't be surprised if you see a dollar 57, maybe even all the way back down at a dollar 30. Don't be surprised if you see that kind of move take place. But at one of those levels, and probably the 0.5, I would expect you bounce and continue higher. You could come down to your 618, find support, and then just continue higher immediately. The daily RSI looks good enough, in my opinion, for that. The weekly RSI, too. I want to look at the four hour. It all looks fine. In my opinion, it all looks fine. But uh, just don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you move down to $1.57. If you don't move down there, you're definitely moving up. <laughs> and, and where are you going to go? Uh, I, I would think that you go above 242. So probably between 242 and 283 is your next target area. Unless, again, unless you were to see some kind of a correction back here, which really wouldn't, I would anticipate that you do that before you move up here. So, I mean, if you move up to date, like the four hour and the daily look good, you could move up, but maybe you form some kind of like double top and then you move down. That could be what happens. That could be what happens. I'm looking for, before you go higher than this high, at least too far, too much further higher, I'd look for that dollar fifty six area. Yeah. Or lower. And then up. And that's that's the best I got on GHST. GMEE -E on KuCoin. Let's see. Interesting bottom. A really weird looking bottom. Um, let's see here from this low to this high golden ratio tipped bro looking good I don't like that you closed below your 382 you need to start showing life now because you're at the point where you're essentially like right at resistance areas here you need to hold support here and you need to bounce you need to see a positive reaction soon you do have bullish divergence technically it's weird but but it is there Oh man, not making it easy on this one. You just really can't go much lower, man. Like I, I wouldn't want to see you if you go down to this six one eight six nine. You could hold support there, but you might just drop from there as well. Hard to say. 
I want to say that you want to move higher, but you're probably going to do it soon. And if you don't do it soon, down you go, man. Down you go. Like back below a cent. So do it soon, man. Do it this week. Like get get a green candle. Get going. You don't even have to engulf last week's candle. That's okay. But just, just do something this week. Get going. Get up there. Um... That's not a bad look. I would expect, man, I really would expect you bounce now. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to stop saying the same stuff over and over again. I think you're moving up. And probably where you're going to go in the immediate term, uh, hard to say. Look for 4.24 to 5.27 cents. And then inevitably you're going to move up to 12 to 25.8 cents, something like that. You're at 1.929 cents right now. GME E VEMP. KuCoin, weird. Uh, another weird chart. That's okay though. Only on. All right. Well. Well. Um. I don't know about this one, man. You're holding support at key areas, but you rejected your 382. But do we trust Wix on something like this? I don't know. So low liquidity. It's very low liquidity, Ashugarg. Um. I would just recommend, and none of this is financial advice, but I would recommend, you know, don't put large amounts of money in this. If you were to try to buy like $1,000 worth right here, you'd probably send the price up, right? Like there's there's low liquidity. So you're not going to be able to buy at the price you want. You won't be able to sell at the price you want to sell. You know, keep keep that in mind. So don't put a large bit of money in this. I, I don't know enough about it. I don't feel comfortable really doing TA on it even because these wicks are just, they're, they're too... They're too weird, man. They're too weird. So like, I, I just don't know where to draw from. Like, do I take this low? Why not take this low? Should I take the closing low and then just to the closing high? Like, it, it looks fine on the fibs, but I don't know. Really, I guess from a price perspective, it also looks fine. But it's I, I just I, I'd be guessing, man. I'd really just be guessing with something like this. So I can't. I don't feel comfortable giving a, like a formal opinion on the TA. Other than it looks like you're finding support at a previous closing high on a weekly basis here. I don't know. You look like you're consolidating. You you might want to move up higher, but you might not. Who knows? Um, did not mean to pull up XCN. There we go. I don't know. You could move lower. Hard to say, man. Hard to say. I, I I'm gonna take a pass on that one. I'm sorry, but that that one. Uh, I don't like that chart. AMP USD. I think that's my first pass ever, you guys. Or maybe maybe not my first pass, but. First time that I've actually found a chart and been able to pass on it. Let's see. Low to high. Man, amp, dude. The one that got away, huh? It got away, got away. Like, let's see. From its cycle lows at less than a cent. I mean, dude, it pulled an 11x since October. That's great. 12x, actually. It's great. Um, really beautiful, too, man, actually. Yeah, if you move lower, you're not going to go below 0 0.00882, I, I wouldn't think. But I do think you have higher that you want to go, absolutely. Just when is kind of the question. On a daily basis, your RSI is relatively neutral. It's not exciting. It doesn't look fun. Uh, you do have kind of this, it looks like a bull flag in my opinion. I guess we're just looking for a breakout. Are you going to get it to the upside, to the downside? If you break it to the downside, then I'm wrong. Like really, it wouldn't take much. You've got this very defined structure here. If you were to see a move like that, even reaching for this price, you likely would go at least to 0 0.00705, if not lower. Um, but if you break it to the upside, which is kind of my anticipation would be that it breaks to the upside, you're going to go to 1.46 cents, 1.877 cents, maybe even all the way up to about 2.7 and a half cents, 2.75 um, cents. Yeah, the RSI isn't helping. It's too it's it's too neutral. 
I'll just say I like it. I think it does want to move higher. And if it moves lower, I would doubt it moves too much lower. But really look for that breakout, man. That's probably the best uh, best thing to look for. You know, something like this, I I really wouldn't be surprised if it moved down. I'm calling for it. I am calling for it to move up, but just don't be surprised if it moves down and then it finally moves up. You get this like shake out and then it moves up. Don't be surprised if you see that. As of right now, I'm calling for this though. I'm calling for, for a move up beyond these highs. So that's, that's AMP. Um, PRQ. Let's see here. Perisk. Oops. Parsic, not Parisk. Parsic. On Coinbase, do we have it on Binance? Is it is it available on Binance? It is not. Okay. Coinbase, it is. Decreasing volume as you're moving up. I'm not a big fan of that though. The weekly RSI looks looks pretty awesome. Daily RSI looks fine as well. So I suppose you're just going to keep marching your way up, aren't you? You are at an area where it would make sense to. Uh, potentially reject find find support at lower prices get some volume get some get some uh fuel going before you make your next attempt up again let's see i don't know man i'm gonna go with my gut on this one i think you do move down i think you'll actually let's see you'll probably see a move that takes you, I would think, to about 11.8 to 12.8 cents, somewhere in there. If not, if not, man, you could go all the way back down to 6.2 cents, and here you are at 22 cents now. So just, just be prepared for that, but I would think that you probably find support somewhere in this zone, again, between 11.8 and 12.8 cents. Um, that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts, yeah. You probably move down, and then you move up, something like that. PRQ. Um, Mong, what Mexi also looks like it wants to move down, but probably not by much. You know, you've got these like higher lows coming in here. You probably move down, you form another higher low, and then you move up, something like that. You're in a kind of a uh, weird looking like channel almost upwards. Um, though I wouldn't call it a channel, it just kind of looks like it. Uh, let's see. I think you want to move down, yeah. Yep, lower you go or let's see. Yeah, man. We'll see you down at what is that? A thousand zeros and one three three two. One three 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 two. Or a thousand zeros, one 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 eight eight. Somewhere uh, I don't know. However many zeros that is one one, or however many zeros that is one three three. Somewhere around that area is where I think you're going. You've got a lot of fibs that line up. It just kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts. So down, down for now. Probably find support in this area, and then you move up. Probably literally at your 786, actually, which again would be one, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's seven zeros. One, three, six, five is what it looks like. So that's Mong moving down. And then you probably find support and move up from there. Trade is the next coin. Poly trade on KuCoin. <clears throat> Interesting looking chart, to say the least. Just look at it on Mexi, maybe. We'll do KuCoin, yeah. Hit your 2272, beautiful. Mm-hmm. You probably pull back, man. You probably go all the way back down to about a dollar and five cents. You're at three dollars and five cents now. You don't have to, but I don't know, volume, volume's fine. 
It is decreasing as you're moving higher, but but it is fine, I, I will say. Yeah, you probably reject from here, man. You probably don't go too much higher. I doubt you break above three point five cent yeah, three dollars and five cents. You're probably going to move all the way back down at least to a dollar sixty four, if not all the way down to about a dollar and five cents. So you've got a little bit of a ways to go before you start looking bullish again. That's my thoughts on trade. I can be wrong, man. I can be wrong on all these. I can be right on all these. I could be probably a mix of both. It's not about being right or wrong. It's just, you know, about identifying something and being willing to adapt to it if you are wrong and execute if you are right. Um, it's about formulating the best strategy whenever you're given the cards you're dealt, man, essentially. Look for opportunity. Capitalize on it. Don't put more risk on than you need to. Low to high. Finding support on your 618, the golden ratio. Looking like you're right there flush with the 236. Looking like you want to go higher. I like it. I like the daily RSI too for dash. Weekly RSI. Looking like it wants to move higher. Yes. Four hour looking good as well. Yeah, I think dash does want to move up higher. You guys, um, I like it for the short term, but for the long term, I'm not a big fan of dash. I know there's people who are. Um, you know, all, all the best to those people, all the best to the people that, that want to see Dash do well. I'd love to see it do well too, but I just I can't seem to wrap my head around it. For now, I think it will go to $49 to $53.4. And here you are at 40 so rather immediately. You're probably going to see this move happen over the over the next week or two, you know, throughout April. Potentially, and not potentially, I would think in April you'll be at 49 to $53.5, somewhere around there. That's my thoughts, so. Dash looking good, like, like it wants to move up. Um, ASM is next. Assemble. All right, we'll use Coinbase. I like this bottom. I really do like that bottom a lot. You probably do move down to about 2.46 cents, if not about 2 cents itself, somewhere in there. Find support there and then move up. I want to look at this real quick. This weird, this is going to be a weird one, but let's just look at it top to bottom. Oh, God, I got to delete something. Yeah, that's crazy. Tipped it to a T. Yeah, somewhere down there. Makes sense to me. Yep. Yep, yep. I would think probably around 2.2 .2 to 2.6 cents is where you're going to go. ASM. Um, OGN. Origin token. Looking good on the weekly at least. Let's look at the R side. Yeah, you're looking real good, dude. Looking real good. You're in a nice little like channel upwards week after week, slowly building your way up. Sometimes you have a couple red weeks in a row, but ultimately you just continue to make strides higher. You'll probably get a breakout at some point. Some point, man. It might happen soon. It might happen like this week or next week. It could happen in two months. Who knows? But still soon either way. I would say when you break above 31.276 cents, you're at 22.4 cents now. When you break above 31.276 cents, that might be when you see your breakout. Whenever you move up to like 85 cents, uh, 63 cents, a dollar 75, you know, like like you have these huge moves. Something like this candle back here, this big, you moved up like 129% in a week, almost 130% actually. I like the daily, I like the four hour, I like the weekly. Um, you're going to stay in this range, you're going to just continue to do this stuff until you don't and I would bet that you stop doing it either right around here or right around here and you're pretty close to both of those so you might have a few more weeks, a couple months of consolidation but at some point, some point soon you're going to break up and who knows man, it could be this week, you really could see a move just like that, like just like this week back here, like it, it really could happen. It's going to happen at any point in time now. But any lower prices probably don't go too far from here. Any higher prices they probably get sold into. It just probably continues to, 
to do its thing until until it's ready to just. Uh, anyways, that's OGN. OGN. Patience. Patience on that one will pay off, likely, in my opinion. But not financial advice. None of this is financial advice. I'm just giving you guys my opinions. That's all. Um, opinions that can be wrong. Let's see. Top to bottom. Finding support on the 1272, breaking above the 1886. I like it. You're good for about $78.5. You're at 53, 54, essentially $54 now. Yeah, dude, I like it. You might, you genuinely might be making a move for like a hundred bucks or more even. But let's look at that seventy-eight and a half dollar area first. Oh, hold up. Oh, you do have bearish divergence, don't you? Okay, okay. Backtrack it a little bit. All right. You probably moved down to about forty-eight first. Forty-eight dollars. If not forty one fifty, somewhere in that area. Forty eight to forty one and a half dollars, and then you make that move up that I was talking about. So all you're gonna do is come down here, find support on your golden ratio, form another higher low. That was that was not a straight line. And then from there, from that low, you'll make your next move up. That's that's all I'm saying. So down for now, up for later. That's AVAX. Algo. How goes looking bullish, but you do have bearish divergence, which it's already played out, hasn't it? It's actually already played out. Oh, I like this look on the weekly RSI where you've got this little bounce off the overbought zone. Or it's, it's kind of, ah, oh, maybe it's not. If you were to close this week red, it would actually look bad. I take it back. But for now, I think it looks fine. Top to bottom. I don't know, man. Yeah, I think you want to continue uh, moving up higher. I think you do. Oh, yeah, you've got this weird, dude, that's weird. It's like an inverse head and shoulders. Did you say that? I don't know if you said that, but you've got like a left shoulder, you've got your head, you've got your right shoulder, you've got your neckline. It's like it, it looks like it. It's just so weird. The head is way too big, but the volume, everything about it actually looks right. Except to me, the head's just really big, but whatever. I mean, from a measure move standpoint, that would essentially mean Algorand is getting ready for a move up to about a dollar. You're at 26 cents now, which that makes sense, honestly. About a dollar, top to bottom. 61869 zone right in there, man. Yeah. You might even reach for your 786 like a lot of them have. So I don't know. Daily looks fine. I think you do want to move up rather immediately. I think you probably are making strides to go up to 50 cents and likely higher. We'll see you at 74 cents, 96 cents, maybe even a dollar 34. Yeah. You're you're in the midst of that now. You look like you want to move up. So if it doesn't happen this week or next week, it's just gonna it's gonna happen over the weeks, over the months. You know, anything down from here is gonna be minute in nature, very very small amounts of downside, um, with large amounts of upside to go. So that's how I'll go. Um, H bar, Hadera hash graph, bearish divergence, not fulfilled. It's definitely not fulfilled. Oh. You could make another drive of bearish divergence by going higher first, though. You absolutely could. I think you're going lower, man. Oh, no. I think you're going to go go to the downside. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I think you are. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's look at this through that scope. Yeah, you probably just moved back to about 89 or 8.917 cents, somewhere around there. Yeah, that's my thoughts. Just a little bit lower. Higher low, nonetheless, right? I'm just talking about moving right down here. That's it, you know. Down, 
higher low, and then up. That's it. So that's probably what H bar is going to do, in my opinion. That would also negate this bearish divergence. Not negate it, it would fulfill it, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, which it's definitely there. So heed that. That's on the weekly time frame. Heed that. Uh, YGG USD on Yield Guild Games, huh? Yeah, we'll use Binance. Yeah, I like the bottoming pattern. It's very nice, very uh, rounded. Kind of have a double bottom even right there. Weekly RSI looks really good, really, really good. Last week, you had a move up 78% in a week, decreasing volume. That's not too exciting, is it? Let's see, what about the USDT pair? Yeah, it's, it's, it's better looking, actually. It's, it's, it's much better looking. We'll use the USDT pair. Not because it's better looking, but because it has more volume. And not, I don't mean just like, like it genuinely, like overall it has more volume in case, it, you know, for anybody that doesn't know um, why it's good to use the USDT pair on Binance. If you're using any charts, you guys, I get it. Using other charts is good. And I, I often do. I'll use like Coinbase or KuCoin or Mexi. Um, if they're the only ones available or if they have more historical data. So if they have more historical data, that's that's whenever I use those. But if it if I've got the same historical data on every exchange, but but I've got the opportunity to use Binance on a USDT pair, I'm going to use Binance on the USDT pair because it has the most volume. If it has the most volume, I would say the price is the most reliable, if that makes sense. The price action is the most reliable best to put your reads, uh, your, your tools off of. Looking at it now, you probably do want to make a move up to about $2, $2.90, even, man. Yeah, I think so. It looks pretty good, man. You could move down. You could. You could pull back to about a dollar first. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go with that. You know, if you move up from here, maybe you go to about two dollars first, but then inevitably come back down to here. Or, you know, you don't even go up; you just go straight down to about a dollar, just under a dollar, between ninety cents and a dollar, with the potential to go all the way down to about eighty-one, eighty-two cents. But I don't think you will. I think you'll hold that uh, dollar area and then move up, man. Yeah. I say dollar area again. If it's at ninety three cents, that's that's a dollar area in my opinion. But you're probably probably moving down for the time being. I've got nothing. These these uh, shorter term time frames aren't really helping me. And you probably do that this week. I would assume this week does not close red for you. It could, I suppose. Man. Ah. Having a hard time with this one, guys. Yeah, you probably pull back to prices around a dollar, if not just below a dollar, just above a dollar, and that's that's where I'm going to finish that. Okay, so that's YGG. Let's talk about AERO, and then we'll finish this up with BNT. AERO, Aero Finance, or do you say Aerodrome? Oh, it's, it's the same thing. Okay. Uh, Coinbase. Daily. Bullish as hell, and it just doesn't stop, does it? Um, I wouldn't buy it here. Uh, it can move up more, but let it move up without you. Uh, but I, I, don't, I wouldn't buy it here, man. Decreasing volume. Severe decrease in volume as you're moving higher. Four hour looks better bearish. You might be moving down, man. High to low. 2272 two hit. You see, you're probably back at $1.10. Likely you'll go back to about $0.83. Cents. We could talk about you finding support there and then moving up or maybe you go lower. But down for now is my thoughts on Arrow. BNT, and then we'll finish this bad boy up. Bancor. It's another OG, man. I believe. Yeah, this thing's been around since 2017. Yep, yep, yep. High to low. Looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. Weekly. Weekly's looking good too. 
man, whenever you break above about what is that? A dollar sixteen, dollar sixteen point two two, you're gonna move up to about two fifty seven, two two fifty eight really to three dollars and thirty cents somewhere around there. You're probably gonna do that soon, man. Yeah, it looks good. Inevitably, you're gonna make a move up to two sixty three thirty area somewhere around there. Let's see, high to low. Yeah, it makes sense. One two seven two one four one four right in that same area. So you could go up higher, but that's the area I'm looking at right now is two fifty eight to three thirty somewhere in that zone. Yeah, rather immediately. When I say immediately. Uh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say immediately. In the short term, it could take like two months. Who knows? You're consolidating right now below the screen line. When you break that green line, that'll be the first kind of indication that things are looking good. Whenever you break your 382 at about $1.16 and, and 0.22, uh, that is going to be the, the final kind of boss to beat before you go up to the 61869 area. So that's all I got for you guys, man. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Uh, if there was a winner, you know, this one, BNT, might be a winner. I just don't know if – I don't know if it's going to move up in the short term. So really, um, I'm, I think I have to give it up, man. It's it's either – it's really hard, but it's either MHAT or oil spill with DGB or XCH. And we're going to go over them right now real quick. We'll just go over them. Let's see, XCH USD on KuCoin. Bounced off at 618. Looking real good. You're like at your 60 area. Daily RSI looking frisky. Neutral. Definitely neutral, but looking frisky. XCH. What about DGB? DGB is a bit further along in its chart. We're going to do some percentage growth right now. All right. Minimum target, 40%. Then you've got a 75%, 40, 75, 142. 40, 75, 142. XCH. Ooh, that's a bigger minimum. Uh, I'm going to give it to MHAT. XCH is the winner. Though I do think DGB has the higher max kind of potential in, in this like short amount of time, I think XCH will gain more over the coming weeks than DG, DGB will. So, MHAT, you're the winner uh, with XCH, my friend. And that's, that's all we got, guys. So if you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. There were other good ones in here besides just those two, but those two stood out the most to me. Those are the ones that I'm more confident in that want to move up. Just because just uh, DGB didn't get the vote of approval doesn't mean that it's not going to do well, man. I mean that you know it's, that that part's just for fun. Like it doesn't doesn't really mean anything. So it's just for personal pride. So, anyways, take care. Have a good night. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.